Suppose we have a spring and we set that as a zero reference point. You can see where the mark is on the meter stick. And we add a mass. The spring extends. And that mass is a, can be a force pulling down. Think of it as the force in Newtons. Convert it to Newtons. It extends the spring, and that's called the extension. And it's given a value x, or the variable x. That's what they use for extension, and usually measured in centimeters. It can be something else, but centimeters is very convenient. Suppose I add more mass on now. This time I've got 300 grams, and it looks to me like it now extends 15 centimeters. So each 100 grams seems to extend it, you know, five, uh, 5 centimeters. Again, that's called the extension. And if we were to keep doing this and gathering data and adding more uh, mass and, or force and more force and more force, in each case measuring the extension, then plot a graph of the force versus the extension, we will get for a large portion of that spring a straight line. Now, if we kept on, obviously we will deform the spring, but during a large portion of it, you'll get a straight line, and the slope of that line is called is delta y over delta x. And it's given a name rather than m, we're calling it k, which is called the spring constant. That's the slope of the extension or the force versus the extension and it's measured in newtons per centimeter. Um, how many newtons cause how many centimeters of stretch? And it's called the spring constant. Now, to write this as the equation, we can write F equals uh, K, that slope, or that slope, spring constant, times X. And they often put a minus sign in front because what's happening is the spring is acting to uh, restore the mass to an equilibrium position if it was, say, uh, bouncing up and down or pushing it back. It's a restoring force. That's Hooke's law. Now, do you remember if you have a force versus a distance and X is distance, what does that area under that graph represent? Do you remember that? Force versus distance, it's the work done. In other words, uh, the work done um, against the spring <laughs> or by the spring, uh, and which would be then the potential energy stored in the spring. You can think of lifting a mass up uh, against gravity. You're doing work and it's gaining potential energy. Well, that mass is stretching the spring and it's gaining potential energy. Well, the area is the work done, which is one half the base times the height. Well, the base is x. The height is the force, f equals kx. Now look at this carefully then. One half the base times the height, x times kx, the area is one half kx squared. And that then would be the potential energy stored in the spring.